Hello and welcome back to Silver Linings. My name is Chrissy, here to guide you through 30 minutes of dynamic, classic bar work. Today's session is called What Goes Around Comes Around. So some great circular motions. It's all gonna be on the floor today. So you don't need a bar, just a mat. Grab a cushion or a folded large towel and that will support you through our seat work. Warning, the thigh and seat sets are in Tense, they're gonna give you a deep burn. If you're newer to the technique, don't worry, just shake it out, jump back in when you can. For my warriors, you know who you are, you stick with me through thick and thin. So without further ado, let's make sure that as you step into your space, you're able to see me, in particular when we're down on the floor, because other than our warm up, we will be mostly down on the mat. So go ahead and take the feet just a touch wider than your hips. Toes are pointing forward. Find that deep lift in your abs right away, and we're gonna connect breath and spinal movement to start out. So let's just arrive, take a a couple of shoulder rolls, maybe close your eyes, focus in on that breath, keep a softness in your knee, chin to chest, we're going to start to roll down, aiming to brush the fingertips to the floor as you come up, curling up through the spine, then circle the arms up and around, two more like so, chin to chest, rolling down with heavy arms and head like a little rag doll, hollow your abs as you roll back up, stack up the spine sequentially, and circle the arms, raise gaze and a smile. You've arrived. You did the hardest part. You pressed play. Everything else is here for me to guide you through. You're gonna be good. All the way open with those arms, reach them wide, heels come together, toes apart, little leg lift up and up. So the knees are to the sides of your space. Spine is tall, let's add a curl. Pull, pull. So this is like hugging a ball getting breath and space into that back body. Good job, you've got eight. Exhale, six. So I like to raise that heart rate, get you into the zone right away. Let's press the air up. Let's push, push. So pressing gaze, pressing legs a little higher now for eight. Good, that's six more here. Six, five, four, three. We're gonna run heels to seat. It looks like this. So it's like a little hamstring activation. We're gonna circle those arms again. A little open, a little close. Just getting a little ease through the shoulders before we hit the deck. In five, four, three, two, come towards the front of your mat. So, rolling down again, set your hands down, spread the fingers, bring your knees back beneath your hips. Keep the toes tucked, draw the right heel up, start to circle your knee, down, up and around. So everything else is still and stable. Fire up your core. For my warriors, hover your left knee one inch off the floor for five. Circle four. Good, three, it's a little tougher up there. Two, last one, hold it there, little stamp. Eight, seven, six, five, four, beautiful. Three, two, switching sides. Left heel up, down, up and around. So that circle in the hip is gonna juice up the synovial fluid. For those of you who did it on the first side, lifting that right knee one inch off the floor for five. And that's four, then we've got those little stamps. If you're grounded, don't worry, really work to center and square everything off. Everybody hold in stillness. Little press, little press. That tiny heel to sky for eight, seven, six, and five. We're coming to a four arm plank in three, two, one. So lengthen the legs. Let's bring them all the way to touch. See if you can float down into your forearm plank, making a number 11 without too much back and forth. From here, establish a strong abdominal lift. We're gonna circle over to the left, round to the right. So this is a circle of the shoulders. It's as though you were on a glass table and your whole body does not change or move as you circle around for two more. Big heat through the shoulders. If you prefer a static hold, it's all good. Go ahead and lengthen your left toes away from you. Little circles there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Little micro circles, activating the core and the glute for four, three, circle shoulders other way. So it goes right and around. You don't have to stay on that beat. You just need to find the heat. Oh, four, yeah, we definitely found it. Three, scoop those abs deeper. Try not to collapse in the lower back. On the last one, find center. Deepen your core, send your right leg long. Little circles round and round. You've got 10, nine, eight, seven. So strong, six, 
five, you've got to hold in four, three, two, reset that plank, find your stillness, beautiful lift through the core as you rock forward and back. That's all, you've got about 30 seconds here. I want you to hug the elbows in, spread the fingers, push into the belly of the hand, rocking forward and back like a piece of steel. You've got this, 10 more seconds, 10, that's nine, good job, eight, slow count, seven, six, getting you in that core, getting you in that burn zone. You've got three, two, and one. Settle back to a brief child pose, steepling the fingers like a spider finger. Rest the head for a moment and roll on up. Final part of our warm up is one of my most challenging postures. So giving you a heads up, I find it difficult, see how you go. Bring those knees floating to tabletop and then curl under with your tailbone until you can roll down and rest just on your bottom rib. From there, little curl up and up. So this is a modified round back. I am definitely using my arms and my strength in my biceps, as well as looking into those core muscles to lift them for four, three. We circle in two and one. It looks like this, round to the right, up and around to the left. It's a micro circle, but my goodness, it's gonna really kick in. Three more, Woo, two more. Last one, can you reverse it? So round to the left, left, up and around, left, up and around. Only four more, then we're in a familiar crisscross or bicycle action, hands behind head. We go twist, twist. This is the finale to your warm up. I want you to shoot those legs out, aiming for 45 degrees, but go higher if you're coming back from surgery or pregnancy. Could we speed it up in three, two, one? You got this, twist, 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 twist. Yes, team. Gorgeous, flying through this warm up, getting that heat in the body. We're gonna be ready for our thigh work. In eight, seven, good. Twist deeper, off those shoulder blades. Four, three, scoop deeper. Two, last one, hug the knees. Take a little moment there, rock up, take a sip of water if you need it. Now, warning, if you have sensitive knees, I'm gonna ask you to pad those knees with a little towel underneath. We're coming into something called a hinge. You're gonna come all the way up to kneeling, put one fist between your knees. That will always be hip sockets width apart. I'm gonna work on the angle. You can work just facing towards the front of your mat. Tuck your pelvis and let's reach those arms forward and make a little circle right there. We're gonna lean back, two, three, four, come on up, two, three. Now notice, from the knee up, I'm in a diagonal line and nothing in that line shifts as we move back and forth. Tight squeeze through the glutes, deep work through the core, and then a lovely open chest. So many things, I know. Lean on back, come on up. Two more, do we're just finding our depth. Can you find your longest, leanest line? Because this time we're gonna come back to a hold, okay? Lean on back, hold, squeeze it there, left right arm only, twizzles back, comes on round. We go reaching back. You can twist the shoulders and gaze a little. I'm going for that isometric hold here. So it's gonna feel intense pretty quickly. You've got four more here. Four, circle and hold. Three, are your abs still lifting? Squeeze the glutes. Two more. Super intense, I know. Last one, we come on up. Take a moment. That was your moment. This time, tucking under a little more. Lean on back, tuck and tuck the pelvis. Now we're gonna add in a combo. So it's gonna be an arm circle and two tucks in four. Tuck three, whoo, tuck two. My goodness, team. Last one, it goes like this. Circle. Tuck, tuck, circle, woo -hoo, it's fiery. You've got two more. Tuck, then we tuck it out to the finish line. Last one, tuck, you can just reach it here for eight, seven, a little higher with the arms is a great option. You've got five, four, three, two, oh, and come up, up on one, good job. Right, knees are gonna go a little bit wider for our thigh surprise. If this is new to you, you're gonna sit down to a hover just above your heels. If your knees are sensitive, come a little higher. Ladies and gentlemen, hands to hips. Down to your hover, find a hip circle. We're starting to the right. It goes right, center, left, back. Right, center, left. Now, whilst this is intense on the thighs, 
it actually also feels like a nice release for hip flexors. So if you were tense there, this is kind of oh, sort of juicy and yet burning. <laughs> Two more. Can you feel your abs working underneath your fingertips? Yeah, you are your own best teacher. Reverse your circle left, under, right. Now try not to lean too far forward. That is the temptation. The further back you lean, the more burn you are gonna get. Last one to the left. We're gonna start with those hips right and left. It goes right, center, left. So now we pick up that pace a little. Getting into our groove. Do you like a disco? I like a disco. So we have some disco arms, up, up. You can make them what you want. We go right, left, right, left. Woo! You got this, 10, nine. Our own little silver linings dance party for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Guess what? Good news, we get to do that hinge on the second side. So if you needed to pad the first side, please do. If you need to come to a standing posture, working with a chair, you can. Just one fist between those knees, tucking your pelvis, lifting your waistline. Find those arms, reach them forward, make a circle. Let's go ahead and lean on back. We go back, two, three, four, we rise it up. Now as before, you've got the chest and gaze forward. You've got a deep tuck and activation in your core. So you do not lean or collapse in the lower back. We move like a piece of steel and we come on up two more like so. Lean it back, two, three, I know, and come up. I get to take a break, you guys don't. Aha, that's my honor as a teacher. <laughs> and we come all the way up. Now this time we come on back, we're gonna take those left arm circles. So lean it back, find your little tuck through the pelvis. We go back for two, Round for two, back for two. So it's like a swimming action. It actually feels pretty juicy on that shoulder, preparing us for our press ups. They are coming in pretty fast after this set. Good, just three more here. You've got this reach and breathe. That breath will take you through the bone. So good. Last one, come all the way up. We're coming back to those tucks. Lean it back in three, two, one. We go tuck and tuck. Now remember, we've got a combo coming. Could you squeeze any tighter? Could you tuck any deeper? Ribs in four. So it's gonna be one arm circle, two tucks in four, three, two. Here we go, circle the arm up and around, tuck and tuck. Up and around, tuck. Whoo, four more, four. We can do this team, I believe in you. Three, I hope you believe in me, because I need your support right now. Two more, good. Tuck, tuck, Ooh, last one. We're gonna tuck it out to the finish. Let's do this team, maybe raise the arms, raise a smile. You've just got eight, seven, make it mini, six, make it count. Five, four, three, two, dive forward. Hands are gonna go nice and wide. Now, if you're doing this on your knees, you're gonna go a little wider with your knees, maybe pad them with a towel. If you're with me, hands, feet wide to the edges of the mat. Two counts, down for two, exhale, push away, circle the left arm, bring it on back to the mat. Down for two. We have everything activated. Alternate the arms, good. Now on the beat, it goes drop, exhale, push, circle. Drop, exhale, push, circle. So minimal shift through the hips is your goal as you circle the arm. Deep chest to mat on that press up, using the breath, four, breathe. Yes team, extend through the legs. Activate those little glutes, two more. We're gonna hold in the center. For those of you on your knees, go ahead and come full form. Take it to a pulse, pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three to a hold, two, hold it, five, four, three, two, one, you're done. Whoo, settle on back to that child pose. We're gonna take a brief saddle stretch here just to open up those hip flexors. So bring the hands behind you, tuck your pelvis, lift your hips up, open your chest. Beautiful, radiating, much needed stretch for those quadriceps and hip flexors. 
breathe, take a sip of water if you need it at this stage. Now, we're gonna be setting up for a very different kind of seat set, and this might be brand new to you. So if that's the case, take a look. So, grabbing your towel or your cushion, place it right into the center of your mat, and then you're gonna come and lay on your front with your navel, your belly button, right on the front edge of your cushion or towel. So let's go ahead and all find that position now. Now, if your lower back is a sensitive spot, you're gonna stay really small with this set throughout. Once you've got the setup, feel free to rest your head into your hands. I'm gonna raise my head just so you guys can hear me. Draw the legs together, squeeze them long, activate the glutes right away. Right toe is gonna to come up towards the sky. Let's flex the foot so it's the heel. It goes up and hold, up and hold. So right away, we're in a what is familiar position standing, which is this pushing action. You've got both hips evenly into your cushion or towel. Can you lift your abdominals so they're not collapsing into your towel? You are still connected and active. Ladies and gentlemen, shrug those shoulders down the back. Four more presses. Three, we're gonna take it on the beat in two. Push down into that left leg, yes. See what that does. It's gonna fire everything. <laughs> push, push, push. Eight more here, it's eight. Seven, beautiful. Six, can you squeeze your heel tighter towards your tush? You've got four, three. Now hold your knee still and off the mat. Reach your leg long, squeeze your heel back to seat. Hamstring curl with the leg hovering. So your right knee should be off the floor, ladies and gentlemen. Are your abs still tight? Are you breathing? Inhale and reach. Exhale and squeeze. We've got two more. Then we're gonna keep that leg long and point the toe. Hold it at that longest point. Little lift hold, little lift hold. Tiny lift. I now want you to imagine I'm standing behind you, pulling your big toe away from your center. Could you lift your core in and up in opposition? Resist me. Four more lifts. It's four, then we circle. Three, then we circle. Two, then we circle. So it looks like this. We're gonna dash the, to sort of drag it along the ground and lift it up and around. Drag it to the side, lift. I use the mat, the edge of the mat, as my little guide. Hips are absolutely still in space. So as you draw the leg side, you're gonna feel side glute, then back. It's so many things. Are your abs lifting? Are your shoulders relaxed? What about your jaw? <laughs> yes, two more. Hold it at that widest point, lift it up there. Tiny circles, up, around, up and around, up and around. So we're on a diagonal, getting right into the corner of the seat. So difficult to reach this spot in a regular workout. That's where bar really comes into its own. You've got eight, seven, good job. Six, five, side lying in four, three, two, and on one. Go ahead and lift up. Take a wiggle and then draw that towel off to one side. You're gonna come and lay onto your left side, so we're still working the right leg. Come and lay onto your forearm. If you need to lay all the way down, you can, but forearm is better. Flex the feet, bring the heels in line with hips, in line with head. I use the back of my mat as my guide. We lift the knee up, we lower the knee down. So we're in a classic clamshell situation. Hips are stacked. If this is new to you, it's like a little side plank lying on the floor. The feet do not have to be off the floor, but I'm giving you that advanced option right away. So if you wanna be here, all good. But promise me, you're gonna stop that top hip rolling back. If you want more support, that top arm, that's your right fingertips to floor in front of you. Lift and lift. Now everybody, ooh, lift those abs, yes. So we're not collapsing. We're lifting, uh -huh. two more slow, lift and lift. So we're getting into that side glute a little more. It's gonna get intense, just like all of this workout. Here we go. We lift, we squeeze lower. So both directions, I want you to imagine a set of bellows. Find the breath, even tempo, but squeezing every inch of the way. Yes, we're shaping our inner and outer thigh. So strong, four more here. You've got four. Three, beautiful. Two more. Now hold it up. Little wrap. The more you squeeze your heels together, this is my top tip for the day, the more you're gonna feel. Yeah, eight, six. We lower the feet and knees in three, in two. Now it looks like this. Lower the knees down, push into your forearm. Lift the hips, 
lower down. So that side plank is kind of building. Good, option for this top arm, right arm to float high. Hips still stacked. Four, three, two, one, lift, hold. Back to your wrap, little wrap, little wrap. Now if your neck is sensitive, Take your gaze down. Good opportunity to check that your elbow is directly beneath your shoulder, not out to the side. That is stressful. Oh, my glute. Eight. How are we doing? Six. Squeeze those heels together. Side body strong. Three, two. Now, here's my finale. You can rest the hips down for this. Lift the leg up. Kick the leg forward. Flex your foot. Little painter back. So it goes in, forward, flex and sweep. In, forward. If you need to rest the hip down, you do. See what you can do today. Two more like so. It's really lovely, this painting movement. This time we stay forward with the leg. Little lift, little lift. Whoo, this is your finale move. So you go halfway down, halfway up for 10, nine, eight, seven, beautiful, six, five, then a hold, four, three, two, hold it. Five, four, three, two, one, done. Ooh, take a little mermaid stretch, so catching the outside of the right ankle, reaching left arm overhead. Straight away, team. Bring your hands behind you. If you have sensitive wrists, make a fist. If not, fingertips towards seat. Heels come in together. Knees are open like a little butterfly stretch. We go tricep dips straight away, floating the seat off the floor, finding that rhythm, finding that beat. Good, adding a knee tap. It goes in, out, in, out, so still working in or out of thighs. You might feel one leg more than the other, so we've worked that left side. Sorry, forgive me, right side. Uh-huh. Whew, little heat through the back of the arms, right? Five, four, then we hold. Three, two, hold the arms static. In, out, in, out. Just little taps of the knees. Static hold into the arms. Move your seat back a touch. See what happens to that burn. Yeah, five, four, Three, two, and sit down. Take a brief little moment in your butterfly. Grab your towel because guess what? We have a second side, we gotta get in there. So draw that towel or cushion back to the center of your mat. Remember, navel, belly button to the front edge of the mat so your hips and lower back are supported. If your lower back is feeling sensitive from the first round, keep it small, keep it low. Hands are one on top of the other, forehead can rest right there once you're confident. Squeeze the legs together, extend through the legs. Right heel is gonna stay, sorry, left heel is gonna squeeze right in. So left heel goes up, hold. So we're back in that little foot stomp. What are we doing here? We are beautifully parallel, even weight into both hip bones onto the floor. Could you draw your abs in and ribs together? And could we draw the shoulders down the back and breathe? So we're getting into the hammies. We're getting into that second side. Beautiful. Let's catch that beat, ready? It goes up, up hold, staccato lift. Always a minimum movement for maximum work in bar. You wanna find your edge and then stay right there for that real burnout. It feels like cramping. If that's how it feels to you, you are in the right zone. You've got eight more here. It's eight to your hamstring curl. Breathe. Nice. You've got four, three. Now hold the knee off the floor, squeeze the leg long. Reach and reach, squeeze on in. It's like you're moving through something nice and thick, like custard or mud. You choose. Beautiful reach. Gorgeous squeeze. Three, are you lifting your core? The more you lift your core, the more you will feel your hamstring. There is a little battle going on. It's an internal battle, two more. We're gonna keep that leg long, point the toe long, tiny lifts up and up. Now remember, I'm behind you, pulling that toe long, and you are lifting your abs away. So it's that longer, longer, longer line that's gonna give you that lovely, lean, strong muscle. Four more here, it's four. Then we have our circles, three, Two, we're gonna brush the floor. You guys ready? It goes down, brush it wide, lift on up. I love how this really starts to kick into the side glute. It's not high, it's long, it's juicy. Two more this way. Can you press down into the hands and drive the shoulders down and back? Breathe, reverse your circle. So it goes out wide, down, brush the floor, come center. 
Make sure you're being precise in your range. Two more. You should not feel anything in your lower back if you are properly supporting with your core. Now bring it wide, little circles there. Finale in this position, then we're side lying team. Uh-huh, you've got four. Three, woo, it burns. Two, and one. Go ahead and come on up, give yourself a little wiggle. You won't need that towel again. Come on to your right forearm. So elbow directly beneath shoulder. Elbow, hips, heels are all aligned with the back of the mat. You've got a 90 degree bend through those legs. Lift the heels, we go up for two, down for two. So it's that classic clamshell. Right away, I'm offering the advancement of lifting feet off and flexing. If that is too much, use the hand in front of you, keep it all grounded. I would rather you went for beautiful form, beautiful form, we'll try that again, than going for those advancements too early when your technique isn't quite there. Beautiful, four more here, we've got up and up. I really feel my side body working, so see if you can pull up as well. Imagine a little candle burning right there. Two more. If your hand is on your hip, what's happening in those abs? Are they working? Single count, squeeze and lift and lower. Up, down, squeeze, exhale. It's juicy, it's muscular. Find the resistance, four, three. We're gonna go full range. The option to lift the hips, just an option. It looks like this, we're up and up, we're down and down. So this is your option. You can always raise the left arm. You can take the gaze down again if that was supportive for your neck today. Beautiful. You've got four, lower. Three, nice. Two, so good. Last one, little wrap, little wrap. Now we have that pain to move. You could lower your hip or keep it lifted, your call. In four, three, Two, we're gonna lift that leg up. Now it kicks. Forward, flex the foot, sweep on back. Knee bend, flex the foot as you sweep on back. Two more, then you're in that finale move. You are so close, my friends. Last one, just your abs to go after that. Right, kick it forward, tiny lift and lower. Down, up, down, up. Micro lift in that hip, or maybe rest it down. You've got this. Eight, seven, six, five. Beautiful, four, three, Two and oh, well deserved. Mermaid catching the outside of your left ankle, reaching right arm over, feels so good. Right, move that towel aside or place it under your lower back if that feels sensitive for you. We are gonna come into a Russian twist series. So toes are gonna come together, hands are gonna come together and then flip it so that the left hand is on top of right. We slice to the right, we come on center. So I'm in a deep curl, this is called a high curl. And the goal is to stay in the curl and twist. Beautiful, nice. Two more like so. We go slice across all the way back. This time we hold it over to the right. Little circle, little circle. Now the, ten the tendency will be to lift your left shoulder. Can you draw it down for five, for four? We're gonna land on our right elbow in three, in two. Now make a prayer position, bring hands to chest. Drop onto your right elbow, flex your feet. Little pull, little pull, little pull. So this feels like a funny little side frog. It's super dynamic. We're not here for long, so make the most of it. If it's just one leg for you today, that's okay. For eight, seven, six, five, four to the hold. Three, two, hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower the heels again. This time left hand on top. Sorry, right hand on top as we slice left. Come to center. Good, so I'm back in that high curl. You can be on the heels, you can be on the toes, but it's a diamond shape through the legs and a deep scoop through your abs. Four more, four. Feeling that deep side body action. Three, are you drawing your breath in and out? Exhale on the twist, two. What's happening with that right shoulder? Could it drop down? Last one, little circle around and around. So deep in that core. Remember, we're gonna drop onto the left elbow this time. You ready? We're there in four, we're there in three, we're there in two, hands come to prayer. Drop onto that left elbow, little pull, little pull. Now remember, you have that option just for the single leg, underneath leg giving you a little bit more support. My warriors, you're up here for eight, seven to the hole, beautiful breath. Exhale, exhale, four, three, 
to, hold it, four, three, two, one. Now here's the fancy transition. See if you can roll onto your seat and catch your legs. Send the legs long. Final hold of class, four, three, two, and one. Flex the feet, forward fold. That music tells us, oh, our time is over. If you need a longer stretch today, please do go ahead and grab one. There are lots and lots on our channel. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for your energy. Please join us again. Please like and subscribe to our channel because we love creating this work to help you feel amazing every day. See you guys on the mat very soon.